How to Trade the Engulfing Bar in Sideways Markets One of the most difficult markets to predict can be the sideways and ranging markets. I always recommend traders to focus on trading trending markets, but the problem is that the markets spend more than 70% of their time in ranging motion. If you focus just on trending markets, you will probably leave a lot of money on the table. This is the reason why learning how to approach range bound markets is a must if you want to make a decent living trading financial markets. What is a range bound market? When the markets stop making higher highs and higher lows in case of an uptrend or lower highs and lower lows in case of a downtrend, the price starts acting between specific high price and low price. This is a clear signal that the market is ranging and no longer trending. See the illustration below. As you see in the example above, the market is trendless. It is trading between horizontal support and resistance, and you can't apply the same techniques that you use in trending market to trade engulfing bar patterns in range bound markets. Let me give you an example. When you are driving your car, you don't always drive the same way. If you are driving downtown, you try to drive slowly because you know that driving fast can put your life or others, others' lives in danger. But when you are driving in a highway, your driving, your driving style changes completely because you know that you can drive fast. So you always try to adapt your driving style to the appropriate situation. You have to do the same thing when you are trading the engulfing bar pattern because all price action strategies we discussed before will not work in range bound markets and you have to use the right techniques that fit these market conditions. Before talking about the right way to trade trend trendless markets, you have to be selective about trading range bound markets to protect your trading account because not all sideways markets are worth trading. You have to know how to differentiate between sideways and choppy markets. See the illustration below about choppy markets. As it is illustrated above, the market trades in a crazy way. We can't identify major support levels and resistance. You have to stay away from these types of markets. Otherwise, you will, defini you will definitely damage your trading account. Trading the engulfing bar candle in range bound markets is very simple. The first strategy is going to be about trading the trading this price action pattern for major support and resistance levels like we see below. The second strategy is to trade the breakout of the range or to wait for the pullback. See the illustration below. The third strategy is to trade the false breakout of the major support or resistance level. False breakouts are one of the most powerful price action strategies. It occurs in all types of markets. And if you know how to use it in combination with the engulfing bar pattern in a major support level or resistance, you will make money in the market because you will buy intelligently the bottoms and sell the tops. See the illustration below. Trading the engulfing bar with supply and demand zones. Supply and demand areas are more powerful than support and resistance. It is the place where banks and institutions are buying and selling in the market. If you can identify these turning points, you will make a difference in your trading account. To trade the engulfing bar pattern successfully with supply and demand areas, you have to be able to identify quality supply and demand levels on a chart. According to my experience, there are three factors that define quality supply and demand areas. One, the strength of the move. Pay more attention to the way the price leaves the zone. If the market leaves the area quickly, this is an indication that banks and institutions are there. Two, good profit zones. 
you have to make sure that the level provides a good risk reward. Three, bigger time frames. The daily and four hour supply and demand areas are the most powerful zones in the market. The chart below shows a quality supply area. As you can see, the move was very strong and that indicates that banks and institutions were there. The formation of an engulfing bar was a clear signal that the bears are still willing to sell from the same price level. See another example of these areas. I think that it's not complicated to identify these zones because they are characterized by strong moves. The secret behind supply and demand areas is that big players put their pending orders there. When the market approaches these zones, we see a crazy move from these levels. If you can combine trading supply and demand areas with the engulfing bar price action signal, you will increase your chances to make money as a trader. Money Management Trading Rules So far, you have learned how to identify high probability setups in the market. This doesn't mean that all engulfing bar patterns are worth trading. Price action signals with low risk reward ratios should be ignored. Once the criteria for a high probability setup are in place, there is no more analysis to be made. Just make sure you, your trade has a potential of 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio. I mean that the amount of money you will win has to be twice the amount of money you will risk or more. See an example below. As you can see, all the conditions were in place to take a buying order. The market was ranging. As we discussed before, major demand and supply zones are the best price levels in sideways markets. The formation of an engulfing bar in the demand area is a good trading opportunity. But you have to look at this risk reward to make sure that the trade respects your money management rules. This trade has 3 to 1 risk to reward, which increases your chances to be a winner in the long term because if you risk two hundred dollars in this in this trade you are likely to win six hundred dollars it is very important to calculate your risk to reward ratio before taking any single trade case study imagine you take 10 trades with three to one risk reward on each single trade i mean when you win you get six hundred dollars and when the market goes against you, you lose $200. Let's suppose you lost seven trades and you won just three trades. Let's do the math to know if you are a winner or a loser. Seven losing trades will cost you about $1,400 and three winning trades will make you $1,800. As you see, you lost seven trades, but you are still making money. This is the magic of money management. The entry and exit strategy. Don't try to be smarter than the rest of traders. Keep it simple. You know what you are looking for when you identify an engulfing bar pattern and you think all conditions are in place to execute your trade. Take an order immediately after the price action signals form. Put your stop loss below the candlestick pattern and look at simply the chart to find the next support or resistance level. This is going to be your profit target. See the illustration below. When you set your protective stop and your target, don't look back over it. Let the market tell you if you are wrong or right. This will help you trade successfully out of your emotions. If the market goes against you, you will not feel good. It's normal. Losing money can be emotionally painful. It is our human nature. Nobody wants to lose, especially when it is about money. In the trading environment, you have to think differently and accept the fact that losing is part of the game. Studies have shown that successful traders don't risk more than 2% of their equity on each single trade. If you are a beginner, 
Don't risk more than 1%. Don't risk money you can't afford on a single trade, even if the engulfing bar pattern you identify indicates a high probability signal. No matter how smart you are, you have to think always in terms of probabilities. Bear in mind that you can experience series of losing trades, and if you risk too much money, you will not survive long. The Inside Bar Candlestick Pattern The Inside Bar Candlestick Pattern is one of the most powerful chart setups that professional traders look out. However, most traders fail to trade it successfully. Lack of skills and knowledge and poor education are the major reasons why most price action traders don't make money trading, the, trading this Japanese candlestick. What is an inside bar candlestick pattern? An inside bar is two candlesticks. The first one is called the mother candle. It is big and large and the second one is smaller and it is located inside of the mother bar. The illustration above shows inside bars at tops and, bo and at bottoms. As you can see, the second small bar is completely contained by the first one, which is the opposite of the engulfing bar pattern. The inside bar is seen as a reversal pattern because it indicates that the market trend is likely to change, especially when it is located at tops or bottoms. It is also considered as a continuation signal in strong trending markets. According to Thomas Bulkowski, a successful investor and trader with over 30 years of market experience, a bearish inside bar pattern in a bull market can indicate a bearish reversal in about 65% of the time. And in a bull market, it represents a bullish continuation signal in about 52% of the time. And a bullish abandoned baby, as he call it, is considered a bullish reversal pattern 70% of the time in bull markets and 55% in bear markets. The psychology behind the pattern formation. The inside bar formation indicates a period of consolidation. In case of a bullish trend, it reflects that the bulls are not buying any further on the second day. It is represented by a small black candle on the second day after a strong uptrend. And in case of a bearish trend, it means that sellers are not in control of the market anymore. It is reflected by a small white candle after a strong downtrend. Your understanding of the psychology behind this pattern will help you better identify major turning points in the market and time correctly your entry and exit. How to trade the inside bar candlestick pattern. The inside bar can be traded successfully in trending markets, particularly if the market is moving strongly. Because the formation of this price pattern provides you with a great opportunity to join the big move. This strategy is very simple. You have to identify a strong trend and wait for the formation of an inside bar pattern in line with the direction of the market. The formation of this bar indicates that the market pauses before making its next move. This will allow you to enter the market in the right time and make big profits. See the illustration below to learn more. As is illustrated above, the market is trending down. The formation of inside bar patterns gave us three opportunities to join the, join the trend. If you are used to our trading approach, you will only look for selling opportunities. This way, you are not fighting big institutions and central banks. You are just trading in the direction that is favored by the market. You can place a sell order after the breakout of the pattern as it is mentioned in the chart above. And your stop loss order should be placed above the mother candle. Your profit, your profit target is the next support level. See another example below. From the above chart, 
we can see how this price action setup works significantly as a continuation pattern. To be honest, you are not going to take all these signals into consideration. You have to look for significant patterns that form in specific areas in the market, such as support and resistance, Fibonacci retracement levels, moving averages, or pivot points. Don't worry about that because we will learn about the important trading tools that we will need to use in combination with inside bar setups to make the best trading decisions. How to trade the inside bar breakout with support and resistance. Technical analysis can be very complicated if you don't focus on the most important basics such as support and resistance levels. These areas represent a psycho psychological level where the game is played between buyers and sellers. Let me give you an example. If sellers overcome buyers, they will push the price below the support level. Some buyers will feel afraid to lose money because they see that the support level is broken. So they will get out and sell the market again to cover their loss. Other participants will notice that sellers are in control of the market. They will decide to sell the market and help the bears push the price to go down. As a trader, if you have enough knowledge about support and resistance levels, when you open your chart, you will notice that the support level is broken and the bears are in control of the market. This is a good selling opportunity, right? But the question is, what is the right time to enter the market? The inside bar pattern is one of the most reliable price action signals that will give you the right time to enter the market and make big profits. Once you understand how to use it in combination with these levels, you will get clearly what the market is telling you and you will make good trading decisions. See the chart below. The illustration below shows how sellers broke the support level, the formation of the inside bar pattern after the breakout of this level signals indecision in the market. Right now, no one knows if the support level is really broken. If you sell it market immediately after the breakout of this level, you are making an aggressive entry, which is a little tricky and dangerous because the breakout is not confirmed. But if you are used to trading inside bars and you understand the psychology behind their formations, you will know that the safest entry should be after the breakout of this pattern. The breakout of this candlestick pattern is a clear confirmation that the market is not still in an indecision period and sellers are obviously in control of the market. See another example below. The chart above shows how the market participants interact with these levels and how the resistance level acts as a barrier. The market has had difficulty rising above this horizontal level, which prevents buyers twice from rising any further. But in the third attempt, buyers broke through the resistance level. What is interesting is what happened after the breakout. Look at the chart again. You will notice that there is a clear inside bar pattern formed over there. The formation of this price action pattern indicates that the breakout is not yet confirmed. Remember, an inside bar formation means indecision and hesitation. So you have to be careful and bear in mind that a false breakout scenario is possible. What will make a difference between you and other traders is your deep understanding of how the patterns work. In this chart above, you will know that the best time to place a buy order should be after the breakout of the inside bar pattern, not after the breakout of the horizontal level. Tips on trading the inside bar price action setups. One, trade the bigger time frames. I'm not against trading lower time frames 
you can trade this setup on five minute time frames using other technical indicators to filter your signals and take just high probability setups but you have to be an experienced trader if you are a beginner i recommend you to stick with trading the signal in bigger time frames such as daily and the four hour time frame trading this setup on lower time frame will increase your chance to overtrade the market and take low probability price action signals and this is the quickest way to blow up your trading account if you focus just on bigger time frames this will allow you to set and forget your trade instead of being emotionally controlled by the market two trade the dominant trend you should start trading inside bars in line with the direction of the market, especially in a strong bullish or bearish trend. But don't try to trade it against the trend if you are a newbie. When you feel like you mastered trading this pattern with the trend, you can move to trade range bound markets and counter trends. Three trade only from key levels remember that not all inside bars are worth your hard-earned money there are specific locations where this setup works great so make sure that your signal is located in a key level in the market four find different factors of confluence trading with confluence means combining different signals to make the best trading decision. To trade using this concept, you need to look for a point in the market where two or more levels are coming together and wait for an obvious signal to form. This trading method will give you confidence on your trading approach and it will allow you to avoid over trading. How to trade the false breakout of the inside bar candlestick pattern. Have you ever placed an order with confidence thinking that the market is going to go up, but price hints your stop loss before it starts turning out to your predicted direction? I have been a victim of stop hunting and I was very disappointed, but that happened several times in the market. Banks and financial institutions know how we trade the market. They know how we think and where we put our stop losses and profit targets. This is the reason why they could easily take money from us. One of the most famous strategies that big players use to, to take money from novice traders is called stop loss hunting strategy. This strategy consists of driving prices to a certain level where there are massive stop loss orders and the purpose is to create liquidity because without liquidity, the market will not move. Once stop losses are hunt, the market goes strongly in the predicted direction. The interaction between big participants and novice traders create repetitive patterns in the market. One of the most important candlestick patterns that illustrates how big financial institutions manipulate the market is the inside bar false breakout pattern. Your understanding of this repetitive setup and your ability to detect it on your charts will help you better exploit it to make money instead of being a victim of market market makers and bank manipulations. This price action signal is formed when price breaks out from the inside bar pattern and then quickly reverses to close within the range of the of the mother bar. See the illustration below. As you can see, there are two types of this price action pattern. A bullish inside bar false breakout that forms when the market is trending down and it is also considered as a bullish reversal signal when it is formed near a key support or resistance level. A bearish inside bar false breakout that occurs in a bullish trend and it is seen as a bearish reversal pattern when it is found near an important level in the market. This setup can be considered as a continuation pattern if it is traded with the trend. Inside bars false breakout trading examples. 
In my own experience, the most important levels that traders should look for to trade this signal are the following. One, support and resistance levels and supply and demand areas. Two, Fibonacci retracement levels, particularly the 50% and 61% retracement levels. Three, 21 moving averages and trend lines in the trending markets. And four, horizontal levels and range bound markets. Here is an example of how to trade inside bar false breakout in a trending market. As you can see in the chart above, the market was trending down. That indicates that sellers are in control of the market. So if you decide to sell the market near the resistance level, all probabilities will be in your favor. But the question is when to enter the market and where to put my stop loss. If you enter the market aggressively before the breakout of the mother candle and you put your stop loss above it, the market will take your stop loss and go in the predicted direction. See the illustration below. As illustrated above, big players hunt novice trader stops before pushing the market to go down. If your stop loss was near the resistance level, you would be out as well. If you don't understand the reason why, it is simply because you were a victim of big players hunting stop strategy. If you are familiar with trading the inside bar false breakout, you will understand what happened in the market and you will simply take advantage of this manipulation instead of being trapped by the market. See the example below. As it is illustrated above, the inside bar false breakout gave us a good selling opportunity. If you are able to identify the setup and you understand the psychology behind it, there should be no reason not to get into this position. Trading inside bar false breakouts with Fibonacci retracement. I don't really know if you are familiar with this technical trading tool. However, I will try to show you how to use it in a simple and efficient way in combination with the inside bar false breakout. What you have to know is that in an uptrend or a downtrend, the market creates impulsive moves and pullbacks. The Fibonacci retracement helps us highlight the most important pullbacks levels in the market. The best Fibonacci retracement levels that I personally use are the 50% and the 61% levels. According to my experience, these levels are the most important areas that experienced traders watch in their charts. Our strategy is simple. We select the technical tool on our chart and if the, if the market moves strongly, we wait for retracements. If the pullback reaches 50% or 61% levels, we need just a price action signal to confirm our entry. See the example below. By adding this technical tool to your strategy, you will be able to identify potential trade setups in the market. If you analyze the chart above without using it, you wouldn't know the reason why the market dropped after the pullback. Fibonacci tool can be used to trade the pin bar, the inside bar and the engulfing bar setup as it was discussed in previous sections. The trade above is very profitable because there are lots of factors of confluence that encourage us to place a sell order. The first reason is the trend. It is obviously down. The second reason is the key Fibonacci ratios that represent a resistance level. And the third one is the inside bar false breakout. One signal is not quite enough to make a good trading decision. You have to look for multiple triggers that support your analysis. This way, you will put the odds of success in your favor. Look at another potential trade below. As you can see, the price moved higher, pulled back to reach our key ratios, and then continued higher. The formation of the inside bar false breakout in this area indicates that the pullback has finished and another strong move will take place. Understanding the market structure is very important to know how to use this strategy in your advantage. If the market is trending, you can trade the inside bar false breakout as we discussed. But if the market is ranging, you have to change your tactic. See the illustration below. 
In the chart above, the market is trading between horizontal support and resistance levels. As you see, if you had entered as soon as the market breaks out from the inside bar and the resistance level, you will be caught in a false breakout. The false breakout has formed because amateurs tried to predict the breakout of the inside bar and the horizontal level early to pick the top. But the market faked, faked them out and formed a bull trap. If you find this pattern in your chart and you understand that buyers were trapped by sellers, take this trade without hesitation because it is, because it is very profitable and it has a good risk reward. You place a selling order after the close of the break bar and you set your stop loss above it. Your profit target is the next level is the next support level. This strategy is not complicated, but it requires time and practice to master it. Bear in mind that a false breakout doesn't happen every time and not all false breakouts are worth trading. The benefit of trading the false breakout of the inside bar candlestick pattern. If you master trading this pattern, this will allow you to stay away from trapped traders and enter the market when no vice traders have to get out with a loss. This strategy is not a holy grail. You have to be prepared to accept some losing, some losing trades. But what is interesting about it is that the risk reward of this signal has a great potential because when big participants surprises amateurs and take their money the market moves very strongly and if you can analyze correctly what happened you will enter in the right time you will enter in the right time and make big profits imagine risking say 50 points for 400 points profit using this price action strategy will help you predict proper turning points in the market in advance and understand how banks and financial institutions trade the market trade examples in this section i will show you different trade examples to help you understand how to trade the market using all the strategies discussed in the previous sections see the first example below as you can see in the chart above the market is trending down so as a price action trader i will try to follow the trend and look for powerful signals at the most powerful key levels the first signal we got is a pin bar that was rejected from a support level that becomes resistance. The second factor that supports our decision to sell the market is the rejection of the pin from the 50% Fibonacci retracements. The third factor that encourages us to take this signal and is the rejection of the pin bar from the 21 moving average that was acting as a dynamic resistance level. The second signal was an engulfing bar candlestick pattern. As you can see in the chart, this candlestick pattern was formed as a resistance level in line with the direction of the market. This is how you can trade trending markets using our price action signals. It's simple, just identify the trend and the key levels. It can be a support or resistance level, a 21 moving averages, or 50% and 61% Fibonacci retracement. Wait for a pin bar, an engulfing bar, an inside bar, or an inside bar false breakout to form near these levels in line with the direction of the market. And then execute your trade. It's not complicated. See another example below. As you can see in the chart above, the market is trading horizontally between the support and the resistance level. This market is completely different from trending markets and the strategy to trade it must be different as well. In ranging markets, we trade from the boundaries. I mean from support and resistance levels. Don't try to trade inside the range. In the chart above, we had two powerful signals. The first signal was a pin bar that was strongly rejected from the resistance level and the second signal was an inside bar formed near the support level see another chart below as you can see in the chart above there are three powerful pin bar signals when the market approaches the 21 moving average that acts as a resistance level seller reject buyers 
and forms a pin bar that gives us a good entry point. Money management strategies. Now you have the strategies, you know how to analyze the market, you know when to buy, when to sell, and when to exit. You also know when to stay away from the market. This is important for you as a trader to know, but you are still missing the key to the castle. The money management plan. The most important thing that traders don't talk about is the money management. This is what makes a difference between successful traders and losers. If you trade without a money management plan, you are just wasting your time and money because nothing is going to work for you, even if you have the most powerful trading system in the world. Most traders focus on how to enter the market. They spend months and years looking for the right system. I don't want you to think like them. You should think differently if you want to become a successful trader. Money management. Position sizing. One of the most important components of money management is position sizing. What I mean by position sizing is the number of lots you are risking per trade. All Forex brokers now offer many lots as the default position size. The smallest value for a mini lot is approximately $1. There are Forex brokers that offer 10 cents for a mini lot which represents an opportunity for traders who don't have bigger accounts. They can begin with $250 and they still have a chance to grow it. When it comes to position sizing, you can think you should think in terms of dollars instead of pips. Let's say you are trading three mini lots of CAD slash USA. This means you brought or sold $30 worth of US dollars. If the market moves in your favor, you will win an amount of money equal to $3 per pip. If you make 20 pips, you will have profited $60. Let's break it down. First standard lot is worth about $10 per pip. And one mini lot is worth about $1 per pip. And one micro lot is equal to 10 cents. If you open a mini trading account, you should think in terms of the dollars risked instead of pips. Let's say you put 50 pips stop loss and 100 pips as a profit target. This means that if the market hits your stop loss, you will lose 50 pips, which is $50. And if the market hits the profit target, you will win $100. The size of your position depends on whether you have a standard or a mini account and how many lots you are trading. This information is important to you because this will help you know how much money you risk on each trade. The risk to reward ratio. The risk to reward ratio concept is what will make you a winner in the long run. Before you enter any trade, you have to know how much money you will win if the market goes in your favor and how much money you will lose if the market goes against you. Don't enter a trade in which the profit is less than the amount of money you risked. If you will risk $100, for example, your profit target should be at least $200. This is a risk to reward ratio of one to two. Let's suppose that you took 10 trades with a one to two risk to reward ratio. In every trade, you risk $100. You won five trades and you lost five trades. So you will lose $500, but you will win $1,000. So the benefits is $500. This is the power of the risk to reward ratio. You shouldn't think that you have to win all your trades to become a successful trader. If you can take the, if you can take the advantage of the risk to reward ratio, you will always be profitable. The importance of a stop loss. All good methodologies use stops. A protective stop loss is in order to exit a long or short position when prices move against you to specify price. The stop loss ensures against a usually large loss and has to be used in one way or another. An initial stop loss can be placed with your order on the trading platform. The trade will be closed automatically when 
when if the stop loss is hit. This type of stop loss will allow you to execute your trade and go spend time with your family or friends. This will help you to trade out of your emotion because you know how much money you will lose if the market didn't go in, the di in your direction. Lots of traders use mental stops. When they enter a trade, they don't place a stop loss because they think that the broker will hit their stop loss, which is not true. The reason behind using mental stop is the human psychology. Humans hate to lose money. And if you don't accept losing money as a part of the game, you will never make money in the market. Don't think of, of using mental stops because you can't control the market. You can't be sure that the market will do, do this or that. Before you enter a trade, calculate how much you, you may win and how much you may lose. Place your stop loss order and your profit target and forget about your trade. Don't ever risk money that you can't afford to lose. I got lots of questions from traders asking me how much money they need to start trading. First of all, you have to take trading as a business. You can make money in this business and you can lose. The amount of money that you need to start trading depends on the amount of money that you can afford to lose. Don't ever borrow money or risk big amounts of money that you can't afford to lose because trading is all about emotions. If you, if you trade and you are afraid to lose your trading account, you will fail in this business because you will be controlled by your emotion and this will affect your trading decisions. You will not be able to follow your trading strategy and you will certainly fail. The best thing to do is to start small. Try to get as much experience as you can and build slowly your trading account. This is how successful traders become successful. Conclusion. Congratulations if you have made it to this point. This is a sign that you are hungry enough to succeed in this business. I have provided you with the most powerful price action strategies that you can use for the rest of your life to make money trading financial markets. Your success as a trader has nothing to do with your educational background. You can be a doctor, a lawyer, or a physician. If you don't follow the rules, you will end up blowing up your entire trading account. Trading is like learning a new skill. You must be ready to put in the same effort and time. Let me give you an example. If you want to get a degree from a university and you have to spend at least three years. You wake up every morning, you study hard, you follow, you follow up with your classes, and if you, are enough, if you are serious enough and disciplined, you get your degree. The same thing when it comes to trading. If you are disciplined enough and you, put, and you put in the time and effort to learn, you will acquire a skill to feed yourself and your family for the rest of your life. You will get your financial freedom, so you will never think of a day job again. Some traders spend more than 10 years to find a winning strategy and become profitable. Others spend 20 years without results. Fortunately, this will not be the case with you because you have the map. You have the strategy. You will not spend years trying different indicators and strategies. You have everything you need here. What you will need is time to master these strategies. So give yourself some time and spend as much as you can to learn because this is the only way to succeed in this business. Over time, you will develop these trading strategies because you will determine what works for you and what does not. Keep practicing and learning from your mistakes. Don't think in terms of making money as fast as possible. Think in terms of becoming an expert of what you do. And then money will follow you wherever you are. Good luck.